والله إن بنتي كان عندها عمرها خمسة سنين لاحظنا أثناء السباحة في البحر كان عندها انحراف بسيط ما كانش قبل الخمسة سنين ما كانش عندها انحراف لكن لاحظنا الانحراف The patient came with the severe back deformities. She got the curve at the back in the upper spine. We did CT scan, we did MRI, and we found that the patient got the fusion spar in the patients that some of the segments that's joined together. So when it's joined together on one side, when her spine is growing up, one side is growing, one side is stuck. So the curve starting to happen there. Some of the conditions as we know in like in this case is from the fusion segment. So if the spine is still not growing up, we may not see the curve obviously, but when it's starting to growing, we will see the deformities at the top. The main point for our surgery is to stop the disease progressions because we know that she still not um, reach her growth birth. That means she will, the curve can be bigger and bigger than this. So first thing is how can we stop the growing of the curves, which is the surgery. And another thing is how to correct the curves. So here is the two things. Mainly about the surgery is the, um, we will put the screws in her spine and we try to manipulate it back, make it become as straight as it can be. But another challenging point is in most of the congenital scoliosis, there's some risk of nerve injuries. When we do operation, we try to manipulate the spine, the nerve which is inside the spine, so it can get some injured. Because when we try to pull it very hard, and the nerve can be pulled. So the challenging part is how can we restore the spine back to a better balance, a safety for the nerve. To take care of the patients, we got a big team for preoperative, for operation itself, and to take care of the patients after operation. Not only the surgeons. Surgeon is only one part. We starting from the preoperative because we have to consult to the neurologist because there are some disease that come together with some organ problems like heart, lungs, to make the patients fit enough for an operation. We also have to do some physical therapies. She has to training about breathing exercise. So um, her lung function should be very fit. So that's why we have to prepare her health for a week or two weeks. Right after operation, at least we will see about the balance, the curves, it will be better. We found that the curve can be reduced 87, 90, will be at least 65 to 69. I think we will get that number. Generally, before patients undergo the surgery, we prepare them in terms of a nutrition aspect. We will do the nutrition screening and assessment for evaluate the status of the patient. We do the physical examination to see the patient's weight, height, body composition, looking for any signs and symptoms of malnutrition and nutrient deficiencies. If patients have any of those, our goal is to fix them before patients undergo the surgery to achieve the best surgical outcome. For this patient, the assessment shows she has malnutrition. She is underweight for her age. We land some lab tests to mark any nutritional levels and some vitamin levels that we suspect her body could be lacking. The lab results show she had vitamin D deficiency. Our intervention plan, we advise her to follow the balanced diet, prescribe her vitamin and mineral supplements, as well as treatment for vitamin D deficiency. We also give her the oral nutritional supplement for her body to obtain the best state of nutrition before the surgery. It's very important to get a nutritional assessment. If patients have optimal nutritional status before the surgery, it will help with the wound healing process. It will decrease the chance of surgical site infections after the surgery. It also helps with a quick recovery and some of the medical complications could be reduced. After the surgery, we know that the metabolism will significantly increase 
and that many factors that can affect the eating pattern in the patients. So it can lead to the post-operative malnutrition. It's very important to follow up with the patients after the surgery to ensure that they have the good nutrient intake and staying in the good nutritional status. As you know, scoliosis correction is a complex surgical procedure that involves risk and potential post-operative complications. But why we decided to set up this operation for her? Because we know that the progression of the curve can lead to complications such as respiratory or cardiovascular problems in the future. But the most important reason is we are all very happy to see the patients can live their life more fully and happily. So to reduce the risk of complications and optimize the outcome, we set up the multidisciplinary team conference and one of the, the important strategy is pre-operative rehabilitation programs. The program is mainly to improve patient strength, flexibility, enhance respiratory function as well as to improve cardiovascular fitness. She will attend the rehabilitation programs for a few weeks and I'm quite sure that the operation will run smoothly without any complication because I believe that behind every successful operations are from their preparation.